aceitável do Senhor. O Senhor está ouvindo o seu clamor, ele já ouviu. Your ear, please. He sees your heart. Your tears have been, have been dry because he loves you. He, he is accepting your adoration. He's accepting your songs, your gratitude, your cry, your sadness, your pain. Because he knows. He knows. I don't know. But he is here to help you. This service, this service was done for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus. of thunder, the sweet and calm voice of the Lord, our soul is joyful. Our cry ends and we are consoled. It's accepted for each one of us and the hands that has been rescued us is being extended in our lives. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to greet all of you, the ones that are connected with us, with YouTube, with the peace of the Lord Jesus, I invite you to stand up, please. We open our Bibles in Acts of Apostles, chapter 16. Acts of Apostles, 16. Only verse, verse 25. Acts of Apostles 16, verse 25. It's been projected. The church will read with me so we can comprehend better the wo word of Jesus tonight. Act of Apostles 16. Verse 25, let's read. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Amen. You do we go for you. Praise your name, because it is good to praise your name. We praise your name tonight, Lord for the blessing of the communion, the privilege to be here at the church and plea for the revelation reach each heart. We pray in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. And just complimenting, complimenting this word around uh, about Acts, uh, about Paul and the emphasis that we're going to give tonight and Paul Paul and Silas, we're going to speak about this man that Jesus separates for him. And we understand this love of God for him. Just follow, I'm going to read uh, on the chapter 9. On chapter 9, yes, chapter 9. Chapter 9, verse 16. Paul, when he converted, God gave him revelation. The, the, what's this? 
and here has authority from the chief. And a vision. And he spoke with enemy as father. This is for me of A's. What is that? There was a call for him. And he was chosen. Yeah. My career in the presence of the Lord. The word says. Go. He's a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And verse 16. For I will show him how many things he must suffer for my name's sake. Wonderful. Glory to Jesus. But I'm going to ask you something. Yeah. Are you willing to die for the... to live with Jesus? I'm, I'm intimate. Why with this group? I'm already missing that. But I don't know. I will pass over near the two. That's a that's a interesting question. I'm gonna tell you an experience I had with the man I am and the Lord the pastor. And he was or being ordered to be a pastor in Governador Valadares, Brazil. And he was and this was being chosen. The word was that for him. He's gonna suffer for my case, for my for my death. And the pastor that was, you know, order pastor. But uh, the pastor asked him, are you, are you willing to suffer for that? In the presence of the Lord, uh, are they suffering? Yes, because of the revelation for the word. We, we, we walk in the, we walk in a straight direction. We go for the house of eternal life. And the word here doesn't walk to the eternal life. We want to we want to have the spiritual bread. We want to sanctify ourselves and the word down here is is talking about sins. He is the uh, uh, opposite of everything. This man that we just read here acts about Paul. Paul Silas. He was one of the biggest examples of this aspect. He, the word is full of revelations. There are many mystery, m mass, the mystery that's in the services with different pastors. The mysteries, the mystery of the world, close to the midnight, close to the darkness. Yes, the return of Jesus is close. I don't know the time. It can last. Yes. Yes. Many are getting close to the Lord. But those who are sleeping, they, are, they already came for. So, close to midnight, Paul and Silas. So here, so I would like you to understand this aspect. They, they prayed and sang hymns to the Lord. So one question. Do you know why he was in, why he's put in jail? He didn't he didn't steal. He didn't kill. He was praising the the word of Lord. He was he was praising the gospel. That's why he was in jail. And they judged him and then sent him to jail. That's how Paul was in jail. They were so scared that they tied, they tied up his, uh, they tied up his feet, to prevent him from walking. Aspect word. Aspect letter. They tie his feet.
we have to understand this proposal that Lord has for us. We tied him, handcuffed him, and he was like one of the worst, was one of those prisoners because he was talking about the, the life of the, the Lord. And before he was in jail, he, he got beat up so bad. So are you willing for that? And then, so like he says, I bring in my body the marks of Jesus. All the scars. Because what is suffering for the Lord? What have you been suffering? Another detail that we always have to be alert of about Jesus. Do you know why you are here? Do you, do you know why you are in the school and the university? Do you have to understand the proposal, the, object, the objective that the Lord has for you? Because he took a man to deliver the word for him, to show him the revelation. And Paul was the same. Do you know why he was in jail? Look at the proposal of the Lord. That's why sometimes we, we are... So God took a young man that was beaten, that was in jail unjustly. So the Bible said that Paul and Silas talked to each other and said, we didn't do anything. Let's, let's stop. Maybe let's stop. Uh, let's stop. Let's stop whining. Let's start singing to the Lord. This this cry is the love. Because at all the time the enemy wants to take our blessing. Every time. Because the word says the the enemy is roaring like a like a lion, looking for. But they, but they look for the ones that are in the presence of the Lord. If, if, if we are like Daniel and thrown in a cave without smelling meat, smelling the flesh. So we need to sanctify ourselves. Understand the purpose of God for our lives. What God wants for me and my work, and my travel everywhere. What does the God want me to do? So understand what, what he wants from me. Sometimes those that are close to you, they're the ones that accuse you for a lot of things. To so look at the imperfections. But the Lord is the one that keeps us each moment, that preserves us. And the Bible says that Paul is, uh, did what, he, what the Lord most wanted him to do, which is to sing and to praise. When in the difficult moments, that's the best thing to do, to sing and to pray. It's when in your... The, how, many, how many songs have God revealed to us? Moses saying, the word says that we must say all the time that the Lord is God. We cannot let the world say otherwise. We have to say that the Lord is the one to take away our sadness. When the, when the brother was giving me the gift, the word says, what can you give us, Lord? What can you give to your church? The, sh the Lord show a lady tonight, a vessel that was offended, verbally offended. The word sometimes hurts. It hurts. It hurts more than if it's a physical contact. And she uh, was hurt verbally hurt by his companion. The gift the gift showed that 
her heart was wounded sister the word the word for the Lord for you is that loves that Jesus loves and his cure knew and she lost she was losing her blood and she came to the service looking for help salvation for her for her house and the Lord has for it don't worry about what he did you came to the right place you came in the best place in the world which is closer to the salvation so are you willing to suffer to the Lord the Lord chose you for that you're not gonna suffer he was just like us and he was Paul was a persecutor and then he became persecuted that's why Paul he writes many letters extraordinary Paul chose not to have a family to serve the Lord taking the name of the Lord and announcing and not being scared of anybody he only he was only scared for for the God he never he never stopped talking about the word of the Lord and then Paul and then and Silas was singing there was an earthquake at midnight but this earthquake did not dis dis destroy anything it only opens the cells there's a singer that talks about that the earthquake will happen so the earthquake affected the jail and opened the cells and they both were worried about the other people that were in the cells and then and then they asked what can I do to be saved and they said Paul said just believe in God and you'll be saved you and your family if there's anybody here that that needs to be uh, fixed that wants to accept Jesus believe in Jesus and you and your house will be saved take this moment because this moment is the moment of salvation and the Lord brought us here the only brought you here to hear this word to for you to understand this proposal in your life this objectives of the Lord to make you understand that he is the God that he saves and he delivers and he gives you the condition for the eternity not only you but your family it's preserved before the Lord and and this opportunity that you are gonna make like Paul and Silas sing and praise and they're both in communion and they lost they didn't lose the communion they did not lose the communion even in jail in a very difficult situation for their lives they didn't complain it, it wouldn't resolve it all the trials are difficult but if they complain they didn't complain but they did better they went to the they went to the Lord's feet very close to midnight they sang a praise to the Lord and the other prisoners were hearing the, them singing and then the, the, the earthquake came the strong columns broke and all the cells were open and all the prisoners were all the prisoners were released what are you what are you uh, what are you stuck with let's sing another song today
interesting that this song he speaks about he spoke about a, a young man that the word itself that spoke to a young man that brought you here to deliver him from the darkness it's so beautiful so wonderful to have a gift and the the church without the gift it's not strong the blessing that we have the, the spiritual gifts uh, a, a young person about 25 years old she was in a way where she she saw many directions and that and and that way she was she didn't know where to go to the right to the left interesting that she she had a lot of doubts but this 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 lord that we just thank that brought you here to rescue to take you away from the darkness to bring you to the light and the, and the Lord said, don't go that way. The angel, the angel pointed the right way. Jesus is the right way. And it, has, it doesn't deviate. There's no curves. I am the way. Jesus is the way. Is the truth. Is the life. Don't go to a different way because the door for, to heaven is Jesus. And he was showing her where she must proceed the young people many ways are offered to but there's only way that will take it to eternity it's the definite article oh the the way and we know where we're going because we know where we come from and where we are beloved we are in this work and this way is the true way there's no deviation there's no doubts it's the way that conducts us to the eternity praise be the name of the lord there's a couple here also they have uh, watched the church they were they were being watching and thought the church was like an army and they look at the church passing they were invited you have been invited to come into this army to be part of it, to be a soldier of Christ. The Lord will put you in this role and give you the condition. I've, I've give us all the armory of God so you can so you can walk in that way. Don't be looking only. Don't be only admiring. But tonight is giving you the condition. This couple is inviting you to be part of it. To go in this way. The, go, the way that takes us to eternity. I've seen many things. The Lord is coming back. But the moment's now to take that moment of what's given us, to serve Him with joy. Adore, exalt. That's glorify Jesus.
Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Now the two words of uh, glorification in the name of God. We praise you, Lord. Because you are present here among us. Because of the Oh. Thank you for this great day, Lord. We praise you because we can say to he to now you have helped us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, because it's worthy to serve you, Lord. You can bless all of us and those who are around us, Lord, giving us a great salvation. We praise you, Lord, because you are. We want to adore you, Lord, to praise your name tonight because good is to sing and praise your name. Wonderful is to adore your name, to feel your presence. We praise you because you have fed us each day. Your presence has filled us, Lord. Receive our adoration, the sings, the praise, the gratitude of your people, church, give us a good week in your presence for the glory in your name. We pray in the name of Jesus. We say that the great love, the great love of God, eternal Father, the sweet consolations, consolations of the Holy Spirit can rest upon us for now and forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please see that uh, we're finishing our service. God speaks to you if you have, if you have any need. I would like, uh, in the name of Pastor Ronildo, please give 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 you guys my big hug. I'd like to thank you for this time I spent here. It was a great experience. I'll take home this love. I'm a very honored. I'm a I'm very honored. Thank you, Ronildo. You love this body here that's going to the eternity. This care, it was reciprocal. It was very true reciprocal to feel the presence. I received my blessing, feeling this warm that the Lord, this fire, that the fire, the Holy Spirit that the Lord gave us. I'll be uh, returning to Brazil. I won't be able to be here. Please continue to pray for us, our minister of Brazil, and, and Valadares, my church. Those are the names, the churches that I assist in my city. Some are in the city and some outside of the city. And tells that uh, that uh, continue this and. Uh, there's a lot of promise for you from the Lord. Peace of the Lord Jesus. Pastor Ronildo uh, will give us a message. Bread and peace of the Lord. Just uh, remembering the brother that this month is the month that we are concentrated for the children. We are preparing. It will be a month that we'll have some events. Some children will be promoted, evangelizing. We're going to go out evangelizing, invite guests for a special service, and the adolescents. And it's going to be on the April 2nd and April 3rd, the intermediate and the, this, the small the children who have a special service on April 3rd. So all of us, especially the parents, to be praying for this month especially for the activities that they will have in Elias. Proverbs 22, 6. 
Proverbs 22, 6. Let's read. Let's read together. Instruct the child in the way that he needs to walk. And until he gets old, you will not deviate from him. Amen. The parents also has a very important role, which is to instruct the child in the way. What it, what does it mean in the way? It means with them. It's not say, go that that way, do this. No, it's. So we have this month. This week we're going to have a fast in favor of the children. On Saturday, we're going to have a special dance, early dawn, you know. All the parents have been invited to be here with the children. It's going to be one day of the week, next next week, Saturday. Yeah. We, have, we have two ways of evangelizing, uh, the gospel. The gospel given by God. And we have the modern gospel. Those that do everything they want. But we, uh, we have learned most important is the genuine, is the eternal gospel. So take your child to leave that. Take your child to know the mystery of God. Because tomorrow is never going to forget. Don't try to be or feel guilty by not doing what's being oriented by God. Because if you don't teach our children today, the world will teach them. The world will teach them the bad things. It teach them things that are not, are not good. Let's do our part as parents. Presbyterians passing down all the orientations, the teachings. It's uh, the parents. Every Saturday at 6, we're going to be here in favor of our children. Amen. So they can uh, learn to choose the best way, which is to be the presence of the Lord. The brethren there are out in all the churches. They can do it at home. We'll be here. Amen. To our peace of Lord. Peace of Lord, Steve. O, o som, Elias, aqui da igreja, para os irmãos assistirem, os irmãos que estão no, no Zoom. Amém. É, o som, só desligar o som. Aqui do, do, da igreja. Paz do Senhor a todos.